Hi, this is John from Chicago, and uh, today I'm going to talk about radios. And I have a new radio here that I, I've been liking quite a bit, and for the money it's great. It's a good starter radio, or even if you have a radio, it's a good secondary radio to have. It's the Jumper um, X-Lite. And it's a very lightweight. It um, weighs 252 grams with a battery. And it fits in the hand. Uh, it's easy. It just fits like a glove. Um, the gimbals are hobby grade gimbals. These are Hall Effect gimbals. And the same gimbals that they have on their Jumper's most expensive model are these are the same gimbals. So they work really good. There's a tension sc spring on the inside or screw that you could adjust the tensions. Right now it's a little loose. It's not bad. Uh, I, I, I'm getting used to the lightness of it. I've been uh, using it for the last two or three weeks. Uh, it's been out for a little over a month now, and most of your reviewers have reviewed it and have videos on these. Uh, my other models that I have that are, uh, it's called, um, let's see, game controller uh, style. Um, I have the X-Lite. Uh, this is my from FR Sky. This is my daily driver. I've been using it for over three years. I, I like it quite a bit. Problem with FR Sky is on their newer models, they do not make it downward compatible to your Tiny Whoops, your D8 protocol. You have to buy a module that fits on the back to run those on the newer one. So they still buy the older radio that will run D8. Uh, Pyro Drones has it for I think $130. This one is $76. And this one over here was $200, but this is the pro version. This is your um, Tango 2 from TBS. It's a Crossfire model. And um, basically all these have just four switches on them. Um, that's all you need. You don't need trims. Uh, this one did stick the trims on, so if you have a wing or something with ale runs, uh, you can do the trim switches on it. But uh, they have uh, three-way switches on the bottom and two-way switches on the top. Or, um, I'm sorry, the opposite. Two-way switches on the bottom and three-way switches on the top. What it is is I set up this bottom one here on the left is I use that for arm. This is your modes. Uh, that would be um, angle, horizon, and um, acro or what I, I use angle. Um, then I use um, acro and then I use air mode with acro. So that's what I set that one up and then my bottom uh, right switch is I set that up for buzzer and then flip over cr flip over after crash is what I set that up. So those are your switches on there. Um, you can see it needs a, you, you can put an SD card in to get sound. If I turn this on. Welcome to OpenTX. Switch loud. warning. Yeah, so you put an SD card in. I'll put the uh, website for Jumper that has their sound files on it. Then you put those on the, uh, you put that whole uh, directory, the sound directory, onto that card to get sound. If you don't, it'll still vibrate. It'll vibrate if you get out of range, uh, or signal starts to get low. It'll give a vibration or it'll give you the voice signal if you. Uh, have the card in there. It also has a port for charging so you could charge the battery in the actual uh, radio which is really nice. The other thing that that port will do it will connect directly to your uh, USB uh, port in your computer and you could use a flight simulator so it's really easy to set up a flight simulator with this and that's what I really recommend although most people won't follow that recommendation on learning to fly, they will want to take something out and crash it a few times, which that's the way I've done it and I understand that, but most of your experts will say you start on a simulator and then move yourself down. So um, weight-wise, this is uh, one of your lighter weight radios. It's uh, 252 grams. My X-Lite is 383 grams and my Tango 2 is 349 grams. So this is over 100 grams lighter than either of these two radios and it fits in the hand it works great uh, uh, it's multi-protocol which means it'll have uh, like F 
Fly Sky, uh, FR Sky, uh, all your other probably six up to about 60 different protocols that are out there. It'll even fly some of your uh, toy grade things. Um, so if you wanted to use a better controller because of that, they do have a model that's $10 less. This is $76 for $66. You could get one without the multi protocol module in there, but for $10 extra, I think it's nice to have. Um, so you can fly somebody else's um, quadcopters on it if you bind it up. Um, let's see, the um, things that some people comment on are the switches. They feel the switches are a little too close uh, because of the smallness of this. Uh, it's worked for me uh, when I arm, I push that up and my hand fits in there and I've been flying for two weeks on it and I haven't disarmed, uh, bumped it. When I bump it down, it, it goes disarm so I want to be able to disarm quickly if that's a problem for you you could switch the set up the switch to go the opposite way you could have it down as being on then it has to come up so you won't accidentally bump it but uh, unless you have real big hands I think you're going to be fine the other thing this is a uh, game style controller is set up for thumbers but you can actually do pinching and I have flown it with pinching. I do a combination of the two. A lot of times I'll use my throttle and yaw with thumb and then I'll do uh, pinching on my uh, roll and pitch. Um, so it's worked good. I get similar times with either model. Um, uh, so I think this for the use of this, uh, this will be something, a radio you could buy for $76 that'll last you for several years and several different models and you won't have to buy something else unless you really want to. Um, the one thing that it doesn't do right out of the box is it doesn't do uh, crossfire or some of your long range modules. Those, uh, they have a little, uh, you have to add a port on the back which they provide, uh, it bolts on, their cord, and the cable goes through and it plugs in. Uh, other people have shown how to do that so I won't show how to set that up. Uh, so you can add a crossfire module on this. Uh, the one note on the crossfire is it'll, with a good battery it'll, it'll um, run at uh, a quarter watt, uh, 250 milliwatts. It won't go out to the full watt. Uh, that's crossfire, most of your crossfire modules are uh, capable of, but uh, at a quarter watt you're still going to get several miles. Um, of distance which is more than what most people will ever use um, and you can upgrade it by changing out a chip uh, going uh, inside there and that chip will allow it to go up to a watt. Albert Kim has a video on that but those are the only really two complaints I mean some might nitpick saying that this screening on here with the labeling of the switches might wear off um, although if I look at my other models here, they don't even put labeling on the switches. So um, I think overall it's a great little radio and for $76 uh, you could buy a toy grade radio for $40 like the Beta FPV. Uh, they're light radio but it doesn't have the screen on it and you won't be able to set things up properly and if you want to add more models to it it's difficult to do so I would say uh, instead of buying a kit that has a toy grade uh, radio in it I would buy this as a starter radio and then this is one of your major pieces it'll work with a simulator it'll work with all your other quads that you have or add in the future so it's a good starting base. Um, I will come up with a uh, video in the next week or two on uh, maybe a whole setup, what I would recommend as a box goggle to get you started, and uh, several quads uh, that you could use as your beginning quad. Uh, but the you could get a um, simulator, uh, they're anywhere from $5 or free ones, I think $5. I spent $20 on the Velocidrone. Uh, they have a lot of good tutorials on there to get you started. Um, so I think if you want to get going in FPV flying, this would be the good start. This could be used on DJI. Uh, I use this with all my DJI models. I don't use their $300 radio. I think this is a better radio. Um, so this would do the same thing. So you could use this for flying DJI if you want to go digital. Um, so if you have any questions, what I'm not showing you right now is how to 
buying the model it's it's fairly easy to do and set up the switches if you want to see that let me know in the comments below there are a lot of other good videos that are out there that show you how to do that i just want to say this is a great model for the money and it um, i'm sure um, radio master will come out with a copy of this in the next several months or next half year i heard they had one without the screen but i, I haven't really seen it come out uh, so I, my guess is they're going to probably put one out with a screen. Uh, so you'll see some copies of this coming out uh, probably for around the same price, but this is a pretty good model. I think it's rugged enough where it's going to last you. So again, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that uh, like buttons and the subscribe button so you can see future, get notified of future uh, videos that I have coming out.